I take this report very seriously, and we accept its findings and recommendations. It's also important, though, to note what the Inspector General did not find. This report did not find any evidence of political bias or improper considerations actually impacting the investigation under review. The report does identify errors of judgment, violations of or even disregard for policy, and decisions that, at the very least, with the benefit of hindsight, were not the best choices. First, we're going to hold employees accountable for any potential misconduct. We've already referred conduct highlighted in the report to our disciplinary arm, OPR, which is the FBI's independent Office of Professional Responsibility. We need to hold ourselves accountable for the choices we make and the work we do. I've also directed our associate deputy director to lead a review of how the FBI handles sensitive investigations and to make recommendations on how those should be staffed, structured, and supervised in the future so that every sensitive investigation is conducted to the FBI's highest standards. The OIG report makes clear that we've got some work to do. But let's also be clear on the scope of this report. It's focused on a specific set of events back in 2016 and a small number of FBI employees connected to those events. Nothing, nothing in this report impugns the integrity of our workforce as a whole or the FBI as an institution.